Let's look at how to assign beats per minute and use tap rate applied to our effects. Let's jump back into live and we're going to run our effect one again. Channels one through five. Effect one, enter. If I go into my effect tab, effect effect, note that this is a blind screen, but changes here will immediately happen on stage. I'm going to use my BPM soft key, which is under more soft keys. Now it's soft key four. And I'm gonna change that to 200. Now the effect is running 200 beats per minute. Notice that the BPM displays in the top right corner of the effect editor and that the cycle time and step times have changed. I can change cycle time to two and that will remove the BPM. I can also learn our BPM in live. Go back into live. I'm gonna do a clear sneak enter. We'll do this on a different group. Group 30, full enter. Effect one. I wanna clear the command line and press effect one, learn, which is a button up here. Time, enter. Now I'm using the enter button as a tap button. So if I tap it slowly, my effect is going to slow down. And if I ramp up, the effect will also speed up. Once I stop, that speed will remain. When I'm finished setting the tap rate, I can press learn to exit that mode. I can now record that into a queue. So if I record Q21, that BPM is now recorded into the queue along with the effect.